Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel or if y'all are new here, my name is Kinsey. Um, I'm a 26 year old lifestyle vlogger, podcast host, I live in Dallas, Texas. If you guys are watching this video, you are probably coming from what I posted on Instagram, what I've been talking about a little bit in the vlogs or I guess those vlogs are coming soon. Um, on Friday, which it's currently Friday. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time talking to the camera. It's because like I never film just like sit down videos anymore. I always film uh, like vlogs, obviously, because I feel like my podcast is kind of like a sit down video in a way. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna take you guys through the entire thing. What happened? Why we closed Okine? Why I'm starting my own brand? What I'm doing with that brand? Why it actually is very different? All the things. So, if y'all are new here, you didn't know, or maybe you just like, didn't catch this, a year ago, or last April, Jessica and I, which is, I'm calling her Jessica because she asked to be called Jessica, but in college, everyone called her Jess, so that's why, whatever. Anyways, so Jessica and I started a brand, The Okind, last April. We went to college together, we interned together, and we always just, like, we were good at, like, her strengths are my weaknesses, my strengths are my we her weaknesses, you get it? And we talked about starting a brand together in college, and then we ended up actually launching and starting a brand last April. So a little bit over a year. The brand was called The Okine. It was largely on accessories. Honestly, we had a really great experience. I learned so much. We had a lot of fun. But at the end of the day, like I just wanted, we both just wanted very different things. And also it did, the partnership I think just like didn't make sense. There's no tea, no beef, no blood. Honestly, Jessica is actually the one who called me about all of this. It just didn't make sense. I started my career like over a decade ago at this point and I've been building my own brand and like my own things and I actually do have like a strong vision on like what I want but I feel like we were just trying to like meet in the middle and it just like didn't really make sense for either one of us like, and I want Jessica to be doing things that she's like actually passionate about and she's not passionate about a lot of the things that like I am and the things that I want to do there is literally no tea no bad blood nothing like she was over at my house two nights ago we text every single day we talk all the time there's been like no arguing there's been no like literally like it could not have gone better I couldn't have ever asked for uh, the situation to go better there really is no if anything we honestly like hang out more now we like see each other more because we have to like make plans to see each other versus like just work she's also actually the one who initiated the conversation it wasn't like i was just like wait i want to go do my own thing which either way like it would be fine but my point being that there isn't bad blood i got a lot of questions on like are you guys still friends how did jessica take it whatever i obviously can't speak for her but like she's the one who initiated it so we're good we are like totally fine so anyways um yeah we had that call in march i believe and she was just saying like i just feel like this partnership like, doesn't really make sense and i agreed and then within like that night as soon as we got off that call i was like oh my god i know exactly what i want to do because it's what i've been wanting to do but i was holding off until i was like 30 i was like well when i'm 30 i'll do that like in the next five years i'll build this and then i'll go do something else which like, just didn't make sense because obviously like why wouldn't i just do it now you know what i mean like why would i wait five years and do something that i'm less passionate about and, you know whatever so after that call i called a few people in my life that i like some of my like best friends and i was like what do you think i should do and because the option was basically to like buy her out of the okind or start my own brand and i was already working on new samples anyways um that i wanted to do for like home stuff like i want to do tabletop i want to do like hosting i want to do you will get to that okay um so i was already working on that stuff and i was like we haven't like paid for it it's really like only like in the stage of me making like mood boards and telling them what I want and sending like certain samples of like fabric types that I like and whatever. So ultimately the conclusion that I came to was to start my own brand and I learned so much in the past year. I feel like a year plus ago I would not have started on my own because I just, one, I really didn't want to do another thing alone in my career because I feel like everything I do is alone. Like YouTube is alone, podcasting is alone. Like yes, obviously I have like your media and like teams and stuff, but just like the day to day, it just gets so lonely. So I was like, I just don't want to do something alone again. But honestly, I, and it was really intimidating to me, but I've learned so much in the past year that I was like, I actually can do this alone. I know what I'm doing. And like, I know the people that I'd want to work with and blah, blah, blah. So it ended up working out like very well. So within like 12 hours, I was already um, getting like graphics made and logos and whatever. I just, well, maybe not 12 hours. I, within 12 hours I was doing something, but I didn't have the name. I probably had the name like that week. We kept going back and forth. The new name is friend of mine for the new brand. And I need to like have a better tagline. I'm so bad at taglines, but it's largely focused around like hosting. So our first product that launched today is the recipe journal that is literally perfect. I'm so obsessed with it. 
Um, I love recipe journals. I've been looking for one. These are all products also, by the way, that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Like I was talking to like merch companies about doing stuff. And again, it just like never made sense because I was like, I don't like how like separate the stuff is like breadwinning housewife and then the O kind and whatever. So the new brand is essentially like breadwinning housewife, like elevated with products. It doesn't say breadwinning housewife, it's just more of like the lifestyle of it. So it's largely around like hosting and then just like gathering people together. We have, I don't want to say like the next like big, big product that we have. I did place the order yesterday, so it is in production now. Um, but I'm so, 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 so excited for it. We also will have hats coming out very soon. Um, and cocktail napkins that are really really cute that I'm sure you guys will like see on social and everything It just feels so me like the second that I like Everything was like that's a raven moment like everything just like was clear in my head after that call Um, it's just perfect. There's so many things I want to do like I would love to do like a dinner party tour around Texas or wherever where it's like You know followers or customers or whatever like you y'all can like buy tickets to like a dinner party that we're hosting at like certain restaurants um, I want to do a bunch of collaborations with like companies. I just have so many ideas and I feel like now with this like under this like new umbrella I really can do anything and I can do the stuff that I'm like the most passionate about like my whole life I have been The one who's like throwing the surprise parties throwing the birthdays hosting the birthday dinners hosting the dinners hosting the whatever like I was always the friend who's like house you came over to I am still that friend now like I obviously love home stuff and I'm sure the brand will evolve and there will be like other things but it's just like I don't know like the lifestyle like Nancy Myers, Martha Stewart like that kind of lifestyle is like the life that I live like I'd love to do like grilling stuff I'd love to do gardening stuff like I, I just love all that but first I want to do like more home tabletop whatever so yeah I'm really excited I think I will ev I think the company will evolve into so many different things uh, by the way it is launched now it's out now so if you guys are interested you can check it out links in bio Follow us on Instagram, please. I would be very, very happy. I'm sure I'm living out so much. So I asked y'all for questions on Instagram. Someone asked, why did you close the Okine? So Jessica was leaving it regardless, essentially. And I wanted to just have my own thing that like made sense for me. I didn't want to like rebrand something. It, you could look at this as a rebrand, but like on the actual business side, it's like a new entity, a new company. Um, I just wanted to do something that like made more sense for me and things that I'm just like so passionate about. Okay, what type of product will it be? Still accessories, I love the Okine scarves. So it's not gonna be like clothing focused or clothing accessories. I'm sure we're, I mean, we're doing hats, but I'm sure we'll like have things at some point. There are cute, like a couple like random like outerwear things that I wanna do, um, but it's not gonna be like so accessory focused. It's gonna be more like Home, hosting, cozy, more of, just think of like the lifestyle that I live, it's like more of that. People have said, wait, so what's the difference? It's just not the Okine. The Okine is over and it's a new company and it's focused around hosting, home, gathering people together, friends, that kind of vibe. Within a year, where do you see the friend of mine vision to be? What are your goals and vision? So I'm going into this like very open-minded. I just want to see what y'all like and what works the best. And I would love, again, like I said, I would love to do like a dinner party tour. I want, I would love for this. I just realized that I have a tag literally still on my shirt. Anyways, I'd love for like certain things to be sold in like Urban Outfitters. Like I want to definitely do some like wholesale stuff. Um, I just don't want to give away all the products that we're doing. Um, but there's a lot and I'm sampling a ton too. So it's like, I feel like now this is an easier thing because with clothing, it takes longer for within the product that I've currently been working on, but also it is more expensive. So I was able to start sampling a bunch of different things. So like our launches and drops won't be as spread out. It's going to be like an easier kind of situation than um, clothing because clothing was just so hard mainly because like you would have to sell that launch the launch would take like let's say from like the time that you get your design to the time you get the clothing it really could be like eight months sometimes it's shorter than that a lot of time but like it could be like eight months to a year longer than that whatever then you put your p your order in and then it takes like another 60 days 60 90 days to come then you sell that but you need to make money in order to then place the next order you see what i'm saying because it was so expensive we were using like basically everything we had to get those orders, whereas with friend of mine, I'm still financing it again, but it's easier because the actual items are not as expensive as clothing. And that's what another thing that I love, like I hated our price points for the Okind. There was just no other option that we had. 
So uh, with what we like wanted to do and I just like didn't love the price points That was like another big issue and I feel like I've learned a lot about like listening to my gut as well Yeah, this stuff like the price points are way more accessible for everything Which is like another thing that I'm so excited about and these are things that you'll just like Use and have so much fun with and that will like romanticize your life and create more memories and things like that Okay, what are your steps for starting a new brand? Need inspo as I'm starting a yoga wellness brand. So I actually made a TikTok on this, but this is basically what I did. I had the idea, and I really had this idea for a very, very long time, but I finally was like, oh my God, it's all clear, even though like I had the idea. Had the idea, then I found, I picked out the name, I had logos and brand marks made. Then from there, I started sampling different product that I like, so the recipe journal, the cocktail napkin, hat, and the other products that are coming, I started sampling a ton. I got a website designer. I started working with her. We'd have meetings every single week. Um, then I also had her do our email marketing templates. I hate email marketing like so much, but I needed her to make the templates. Um, it actually is really important for like having like any sort of TTC business. Like email marketing actually works. It's bizarre. You just don't think that when you're like deleting all the emails. Um, but I don't mean that I hate emails. I mean that I hate like literally actually sending them out. Like I just, it's not my strength. So then I had that, oh, so I had the samples made. Once the sample was approved, I had a photo shoot, got all the socials and the domain. Oh, sorry. So I, once I did the brand, actually, I created an LLC and then I did um, all the like backend business stuff. Basically LLC, a new uh, business bank account, things like that. So anyways, then we had the photo shoot um, and I had all the photos done for social and for the website. And I also am working this time with a fulfillment center that I found in Texas. I didn't find them. A friend set me up with them. Um, and I really am excited about that because it's going to be a lot more streamlined and way less issues and just like I'm very excited about it. So also got connected with them. I think a huge thing in business and just like work in general in life, honestly, is really just who you know. Like a lot of every good career thing in my life comes down to like things that other people have connected me with, which is why I'm always like the first one. I know how much that means and I know how important it is. So if, like anyone comes to me like friend wise and is like asking a question I'm like, oh, I know this person, love and connect you, whatever. Like, I just think it's like good. I don't really believe in karma, but like good energy. I don't know. I just think it's like the right thing to do. I don't even think it is. It's not really about it coming back to you. I just know how much it means and how important it is. And I'm very grateful for people who have done that for me. So I'm always like happy to do it for other people. But anyways, yeah, um, I learned a lot through the Okine, but honestly, I've learned so much through I'm having like my own podcast when I was interviewing more of like entrepreneur type people and then just like interviewing a lot of people. I feel like my network is so wide. So I have a lot of great people in my life that were like very down to help. Um, but I also just you, I don't know. I feel like we have so much access now to learning about anything. Not that it's ever like an easy time. I really, I don't mean that. I just mean that there's so many podcasts and books out. like we have so much access to like free podcasts to learn about this sort of thing um which is very helpful but yeah that's basically the order that i went in so concept name brand mark llc trademark all the back end like business bank account whatever sampling photo shoot social email marketing site launch that's basically what i did so yeah Okay, main business related takeaways you learned that you'll carry into the new brand. Um, I learned so much. Honestly, Matt Higgins' book, Burn the Boats, I think that's the name of the book. Um, it was like so good. Like I cannot recommend that book enough. And I learned a lot on like the partnership end, like when you like need certain things and when you don't. Um, one, just like go for it in general. Like I am so glad we did it. I learned so much. We had like so much success in the first year. Like, I'm just like very grateful for it. But I would say, listen to your gut, especially because like, I know y'all, like I know my follower, I am my follower. Like I'm just like all of you guys. So it's like, I know what I want. Um, I don't know, I think I just would have listened to my gut more on quite a few things, honestly, a couple things. I just think it's a very powerful tool. And then I just learned so many like practical things about business and running in and things like that. But. Yeah, overall, I would just say listening to your gut because there are, I should have just listened to my gut, I think, but like, I, not really, because I don't feel like anything was a mistake. I just think if I were to like, to have changed anything or whatever, I would have listened to my gut more. Ask, are you hiring a team? I'm not hiring a team, guys. Starting a brand is very expensive. It is not something that you do uh, to make money. 
And who knows? I mean, hopefully one day it is making a lot of money, but it's not... This is some, it's not my goal, it's just like something that I like really, 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 really love to do. But that being said, I would love to hire a team eventually. Um, but I do hire out a lot. Like I hire like graphic designers and obviously photographers and like certain things. There's no one like on salary. But I would love to do that in the, within the next like year or whenever it makes sense, whatever works. I'm just not putting extreme pressure on myself and not in the way that I'm not gonna work hard but more in the way of like I just want to see how this goes and like you have to be flexible and that there's ebbs and there's flows and things like that like I'm not I'm doing this because I love it and I really believe in it and I'm very excited about it but I'm not doing it because I like need to make a ton of money and like hit x y and z goal there are things that I would love to do and things that I like working towards but I just feel like my approach is a little bit more laid back this time because I've just learned a lot and I'm very, I don't know, I, I think I'm like really excited and very confident in it. I don't know if any of this is making sense, I just, I'm very excited, I'm not putting a ton of pressure on myself, like I don't need to have a drop every two weeks, like I just want to do like what makes sense for the brand, what makes sense for y'all, what makes sense for me, that sort of thing. So that is what happened to the Okind and that is why I now have the shop for a friend of mine which is shop friend of mine.com shop friend of mine on instagram um yeah thank you guys so much i just want to say like y'all have been so supportive and just so amazing like i'm so grateful you have no idea and thank you guys to everyone who supported the okind like seriously it means the absolute world and i'm really excited for this next chapter of my life um, yeah, I love you guys so much and I will talk to y'all in my next video. What do you think Magnolia's impression of you would be if she just met you? Oh god, I think she'd be like, who's this weird like old version of me yeah, it's in like a she's, suburban life? She's like seeing into the future. She's like, if that's like, that's me if I like get my life together. Yeah. Or if I don't, if I, if I lose all my money and I... <laughs>